What's the general feeling amongst farmers who you've just been with, of course, about this growing vegan news movement? Are they worried? Are they flexible enough to change their farming methods and practices? It's a really interesting question. So in case you wouldn't hear it, it's a question about how were the farmers at the Oxford Farming Conference responding to the increasing um, uh, interest in, in vegan issues. We sort of just had Greg's famous sausage roll. You know, roll. <laughs> <laughs> Piers Morgan, a serious uh, attack of indigestion. Um, I think, I mean, they, they, were, they were worried about it, and, and, and I did sort of provoke them somewhat by talking about a, a, a range of measures we need to, to address livestock emissions, of which potentially at least a discussion about a meat tax might be part of it. That didn't go down brilliantly. Yeah. Um, but I think the thing that, that that farmers want more than anything is to have policy certainty and to know that the funding is there to enable them to make that transition. Yeah. And it feels to me there was a lot of support coming from farmers when I was talking about you know, the need for the agriculture bill that's in front of Parliament right now. It doesn't have long-term vision. It doesn't have long-term funding commitments. And so it's hugely difficult for farmers to begin to make the transition away. And in a way, we can't blame them for doing what they have been doing, because in a sense, they've been responding to the policy signals that were that were there. But it feels to me that we've got to fund that transition over time. And there are ways of doing it. If you were, for example, to have a, a meat tax, you could ring fence some of the money from that and invest it into enabling farmers to make that transition. Yeah. So I think as long as they felt that they weren't going to lose out, and in particular lose out to cheaper imports that weren't subject to any of the same kind of regulatory environment as we want to have in the UK, then there would be a lot more sympathy than I was expecting in terms of moving in that direction. And yesterday, the NFU president, Lynette Batters, was speaking herself at the conference, and she proactively raised the importance of, of livestock emissions and the fact that farming needs to do more. So I do think that they are moving faster than perhaps we think, albeit that they would, would want and, and would like to expect some kind of financial support over that transition. Yeah.